correct me if I'm saying it wrong, Aphantasia? Oh, yeah, yeah. Am I saying it right? Yeah, yeah, Aphantasia. Well, I, Aphantasia, I yeah. okay. Because I, I actually, it's a, what, what's your definition? I've got my own, but... So, yeah. my definition is um, the lesser ability to visualise things and having less of a visual, uh, vivid visualisation with your eyes closed. Yeah. So, that's sort of like a rough <coughs> definition I would go for. So it's, yeah, uh, essentially where you can't see images in your mind. Yeah, basically. Um, and also the other thing was, is it SDAM? Yeah, yeah. The um, uh, autobiographical memory and stuff being mixed and matched, jumbled up. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, I, that one I don't know. I've got lifelong um, inability to vividly recollect or re-experience personal past events. Mm. So it's kind of like just what, not being able to remember or... I guess they yeah, work hand so in hand, don't they? That it's kind of like very similar to like PTSD symptoms. Okay, right. Where you have the kind of PTSD where people relive flashbacks and they get very vivid. And then there's other people who cannot recall a whole chapter of their lives because they was in PTSD, like, um, not PTSD mode. Like, like trauma. Yeah, trauma yeah. mode. So they cannot recall a whole chapter of their life. You ask them, what did you do that year? And they're like, I was going through so much, I can't remember. So right. it's kind of like that, but like lifelong with good and bad stuff, no matter how good or bad you feel. Yeah. Um, and I think that is yeah, linked to the aphantasia where you cannot recall images. So at any given point of my life, you know, if you're like, oh, yeah, do you remember this day? I'm like, yeah, I remember it. But if you told me now I made it up and I just dreamt it inside, reflecting on it, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference between that and that because there's no like visual, vivid recollection. And then, yeah, it's, it's, it's a very interesting one. It's a mm. very interesting one. So with the... Um Aphantasia. <laughs> Does that affect your kind of day to day or affect the job or anything like that? Um, so when I first found out, I cried for like a week because I found it very creepy that other people could visualize. So my friend was like, you know, when you leave the room, I can still see your face. I was like, what? I was wow. like, that's so creepy. So you can remember what I look like when I left? She's like, yeah, and I can remember your smell. Like a, I was like, that is this, that is creepy. That is so, honestly, I cried for a week. And then my oh. mum, you know, she was like, oh, um, what about taste? Can you still, like, remember the taste of, like, the, the cinnamon thing you was eating? And I was like, no, can you? She's like, yeah. And, yeah, my life was just like, oh, my gosh, I was crying for a week. I was very depressed because um, it was a shock. But because I never knew it was a thing, it mm. never affected me. Like, I thought it was just normal. And now that I know, I'm just sort of more self-aware that actually it's okay for me to need to take pictures. Because okay, when right. I leave this room and you ask me what colour was the sofa, I'd be like, I sat on it. What colour was it? No idea. But my mum, she can recall and bring up the sofa in her mind wow. and bring up the colour. So obviously the, the kind of main issue that I would have, um, let's say at work, is, you know, someone's like, oh, um, go upstairs, the socket to the left. I'm like, you know, I can't remember the room. <laughs> and I'll be in and out of the room 10 times. And they're like, yeah, that socket there, this, that. And I have to visualise how I'm going to run the cable. I can't. I have to take a picture and then I have to draw it on there and, and make the drawings to, you know, to kind of like um, make up for that. And yeah, I guess in my normal life as well, there was like things where, you know, my mum would say, oh, this and that is messy. And I'm like, oh, I, d I don't remember that because I genuinely can't remember. Once I leave the room, I yeah. can't recall the room. Whereas my mum, when she's left the room, she can still see the mess in her mind. I see. Uh, yeah, yeah. So th there's like all these kind of, you know, things where even my car, Back of my car, I know it's a mess, but because I can't see it and it's not in my mind because I can't bring up the image, yeah. it doesn't bother me. And my friends <laughs> are like, you know your car's so messy. I'm like, well, I can't see it. I can't bring it up in my mind. As long as I don't look back, <laughs> you know. No, that's, yeah, yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I don't know too much about it. You know, if it, is it hereditary? Is it something like... That's something that no one <laughs> really knows. Yeah, it's, okay, it's so just something yeah. so recent that I think sort of people started discovering through social media. And I think a lot of yeah. people don't really think about how others perceive the world. Yeah. Like we've always known like, you know, there is the visible light spectrum and then cats see that much and then dogs see that much and humans only see a little bit. But we've never really thought actually within humans, how are other people perceiving the world? Like we understand color blindness, but do we understand that some people might not be able to actually bring up an image in their mind? And it's just something that I think has been more discussed recently with social media and, you know, things going viral. So there's not been a lot of research. Do you, um, do you think it's a good thing or a bad thing? Because I know a lot of it's coming up on TikTok and there's like tests you can do and stuff like that. Yeah, I think, I think it's both. Um, like, like I mentioned, when I first discovered it, I had a mental breakdown for a week. I was crying yeah. nonstop researching it. That was bad. 
But it helped because then the relationship between like me and my friends improved because they're like, oh, now I finally understand why when I ask you about the outfit, you can't remember what shoes match it and what shoes you have because you genuinely cannot recall what you have in your wardrobe that you look at every day. And you know, yeah. these small things where before they thought I was just, I don't know, being difficult. Now they're like, oh, actually we understand. Like you genuinely cannot bring up your wardrobe in your mind, which apparently, and people can, which is crazy, what? But yeah. I don't know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, I think with everything, it's, it's good to be aware. Um, so you know how to deal with it. Like, like you said, take pictures and stuff. That's, that's quite a good, good way to deal with it, definitely.